Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 45. If this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using a Glowforge laser engraver. And if you like those type of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And in this project, we're gonna make my favorite thing to make with my laser engraver. That is some custom jewelry using acrylic. Matter of fact, we're gonna make a photo pendant using an actual photo. All right, this is everything I'm gonna use for this project. I'm using the acrylic cement solvent. I have a gold, my gold necklace right here. I have a gold jump ring right here. We're gonna use some gold glitter acrylic and we're gonna use some silver glitter acrylic. And I don't have a white gold chain, so I'm gonna hook it to this black ball chain. And I have this silver jump ring right here. And I have a black clamp right here. And also, can't forget, the actual photo. This is a photo of me and Christiana from about a month or so ago, I think. If you continue watching this video, I'm gonna show you how I got the photos this side. Okay, here's the framework for the acrylic that we're gonna cut out. See this 1.32 by 2.05? This is the whole size from top to bottom, side to side. But these sizes right here, this 0.4 by 0.4, this is the size of this little square box right here. This 1.32 by 1.7, is the same size as this outer box right here. But when you wedge them together, you should get this size right here. And that little red circle is also 0.16 diameter. That's the size that we're gonna stick the jump rings through. And this right here, this is the outside. See, I got it color coordinated. The black is the outside and the red is the inside size. And this right here, this is gonna be the clear acrylic. This is the size that we're gonna stick inside of it. When I finish cutting it out, I'll show you what I mean when it snaps inside of it so it can fit like a glove so you don't have to use any glue or anything like that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, when you get ready to make the boxes, they're gonna come out as corners, like really sharp corners, like 90 degree corners. But if you wanna edge them and you wanna get that curve on them, this black, it is cornered at 0.15 and the clear and this inside right here, this one is 0.05. That's how to edge. If you're using Corel Draw, you just click the box, you select it, and you wanna go over to this right here to uh, edit a curve. You click it and then you can see that you can start dragging the sizes or whatever like that. So you can drag it. But this one is 0.051. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I did the actual photo. Since we know we're ordering a four by six picture, I just created a box right here that's four by six inch. This red outline right here, this is the clear acrylic that we're gonna cut because this is what the picture is gonna go behind. So now you just upload your photo. Once you're ready to upload your photo, you can just drag it to make it the size of the frame that you're gonna put it in right here. So that's a cool size right there. And what you do in Corel Draw is, once it's selected, you go up to Objects, you go to Power Clip, you go to Place Inside a Frame. So then you see this arrow right here that I have right here? So you just click where you want it to go, and it's gonna go inside of the frame just like that. I like both of them and copy it, and then you go up to Paste, and then you can just move it and make as many copies as you need. Today you make as many copies as you need that will fit inside of the 4x6 and then you want to export it as a PNG. Then you want to take it to your photo place that you're going to use, but I'm going to use Walgreens in this case. Okay, we got everything cut out. Now you want to make sure that your clear acrylic fits inside of the frame. So you just want to take it Make sure you snap it in there. It shouldn't be too easy to snap inside. You wanna make sure that it's nice and snug like that. And you wanna do the same thing to the other side. You just wanna make sure that it fits. Fits nice and snug because we're not gonna use any glue to put it inside of this because it'll mess up the photo. So therefore, you make sure that it fits. Okay, cool. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back part and we're gonna take this part and we're gonna put it right on top like that so it'll be nice and thick like that and it'll look something like this. So you just wanna take this part right here and we're gonna take some liquid. We're gonna take the liquid solvent right here and we're gonna put some drops right inside of the edges all the way around of the uh, inside of this pendant. I'm 
really glad I chose this glitter acrylic to do this project. I mean, they look really, really good. Like, look at that. Them, I mean, they glitter just make it look all pretty. It's shining. Look at that. Really, really dope. The back, really, really dope. Side. You might have to do a little cutting on the edges because I had to cut on the edge of the picture just a little bit. Maybe I should have made the picture a little bit smaller, but it's gonna look really good. It's gonna snub right inside of it. And with that clear acrylic on top, it just makes it look like glass. There you have it. Which one you think looks better? Tell me right now in the comments, the gold one or the silver one? And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project.